First Lady Melania Trump is responding tonight after an interview with President Trump's first wife, Ivana Trump. In that interview, Ivana Trump reveals how often she calls the president, saying she's the first Trump wife, the first lady. Here's Amy Robach. The president's first wife and mother of Don Jr., Eric, and Ivanka saying tonight she still has the president's ear. How often do you two talk? Talk about once a 14 days. But I have the direct number to White House, but I don't really want to call him there because Melania is there, and I don't want to cause any kind of jealousy or something like that because I'm basically first Trump wife, okay? <laughs> I'm first lady, okay? <laughs> That comment prompting a spokesperson for Melania Trump to tell ABC there is clearly no substance to this statement from an ex. Unfortunately, only attention-seeking and self-serving noise. A new memoir from the Czechoslovakian-born model Raising Trump goes back to the very beginning. You write, I believe the credit for raising such great kids belongs to me. Full credit? Full credit. Donna was on the telephone making the deals. He was loving father, don't get me wrong, but he was not the father which would take a stroller and go to the Central Park or go and play the baseball with them. In his first year in office, Ivana says she has given the president advice. I tell him to just not to speak that much. <laughs> when you read your book, you are all about kindness and manners. What about the fact that President Trump often uses Twitter to name call? Well, the people are different. You know, I, I like the good matters. But if you heard your, your children call someone a loser, how would you feel about that? I think they sometimes call the people losers. If they are losers, they are losers. <laughs> okay? And I don't mind it. And Amy Robach with us here tonight. And Amy, you were also telling us that Ivana Trump says the president offered her the role as ambassador to the Czech Republic. That's right, and she says she declined because she would lose her freedom. She told me that she would have to say bye-bye to Miami in the winter, bye-bye to New York in the spring and fall, and bye-bye to Saint-Tropez, where I spend all summer long. So she's happy where she is. All right, Amy Robach tonight. Amy, thanks.